Hey everyone, welcome back to another diecast review here on my YouTube channel. It is time to review the 2014 Kyle Busch Interstate All Battery Center to uh, Toyota Camry autographed version. Before I get to the car, let's go over the box. At the top there we have Kyle Busch. I know the lights and you know glaring on it so you can't see it, but eh, it's there. We also have a uh, Toyota Camry uh, silhouette of the nose in the background there. We have Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. Number 18, 124 scale stock car, limited edition, adult collectible. Side of the box features the NASCAR hologram, Lionel Racing golden ticket, Joe Gibbs Racing, and a silhouette of Joe Gibbs Racing in the background. We have Action Racing Collectible, still the choice of champions on the top corner. We've got the artist rendering of the die cast here with Joe Gibbs Racing and Kyle Busch's uh, simulated signature. End of the box features 2014 Platinum Series Action Racing Collectibles, still the choice of champions. We have the silver tag, identification tag, that says Kyle Busch, number 18, Interstate Batteries, All Battery Center, 2014 Camry, one of 553. Mine is serial number 13 on a green car. I am not a very superstitious person or I would not be keeping this car. All right, this out of the box has the number 18, Kyle Busch, a uh, profile picture of Kyle in the background there. We have Joe Gibbs Racing, the Action Platinum Series logo, Action Racing Collector, still the choice of champions. And this end of the box features the artist render sticker and Kyle's signature and Joe Gibbs Racing. So now that's the box. Let's go ahead and get to the car. It's a really nice looking car. I really like how the green and white is on this one. So starting off with the front nose of the die cast, we have Camry. We have the Toyota emblem right there, number 18. We have Joe Gibbs Racing down here in the corner. The 2014 Toyota Camry, I believe, had a pretty cool front uh, grille and everything, but the current 2015 and 2016 Camrys are really sharp looking with the front nose piece they have on the car. Up on the hood, it does feature interstate batteries, all battery center. We got Kyle Busch's autograph on the front windshield. Up on the name row, we have the Toyota emblems on either side. We got a couple stars and Kyle Busch open up the hood see the engine detail it is the traditional Lionel engine detail that they've had since 2013 it does on the valve covers say TRD though and on the inside of the hood it does feature the Toyota let's go places logo so there is that for contingency contingencies on the front nose we have Molly, Comp Cam, and Sunoco. We have Goodyear above the front tires. For contingencies on the door panel, we have the NASCAR Salutes logo right here up on the A pillar. We have NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Coors Light Pole, Automator Jags, Edelbrock Flowmaster, Sean Williams, Duralast, Lincoln Motors, Freescale, Mobile One, Mechanic Wear, Holly, 3M, and K&N. Moving on, we have the number 18 and the yellow, yellow dot below it where the jack post is. We have behind that, we have M&M's, Freightliner, Siemens, Mac Tools, Sherwin Williams, and Doosan. I believe that's what that is. Up on the roof, it features the number 18 with the bubble cam. It does have Interstate All Battery Center as the roof sponsor right there. Roof flaps do deploy. On here we have Kyle Busch and one race win sticker above the driver's door and on the passenger side. On the C pillar right here it does have the Ray Bestus logo. On to the quarter panel we have American Ethanol, Interstate, All Battery Center, M&M's, and Joe Gibbs racing once again. To the rear bumper cover. We have some batteries up here. We have Toyota emblem. We have Interstate, All Battery Center, Toyota, and the number 18. Deck lid does open up. And it has the fuel cell detail in there. Can't really see it, but it's in there. 
The DIN number is, of course, on the rear decking. Like I mentioned before, it is serial number 13 on a green car. The passenger side of the die cast is exactly the same in every way except it has the exhaust tips coming out the rocker panel on the passenger side. It does have full containment racing seat in there, some nice gauge panel detailing, got the steering wheel. The, you can see the red fire extinguishers and the red uh, pipe going down the floor paneling down there where the fuel line I believe goes. So yeah, it's a really nice looking car. It's probably one of my favorite looking Kyle Busch cars in my collection. Next to my Monster Energy cars of course, so there is that. Onto the bottom, it does have the standard Lionel Racing detail working uh, steering, all four wheels and tires turn. You got the uh, detail in the rear end area, not much to it, nothing like an elite car, so yeah. This has been Jason doing a diecast review of the Kyle Busch 2014 Interstate All Battery Center Autograph 124 scale NASCAR diecast. Remember to subscribe to me. It's at the very top of the home screen. You'll hit, see a red button that says subscribe. Go ahead and click that. I'm also on Facebook at JDR Diecast Reviews. Also like me and follow me or whatever you want on the Twitter and Instagram at Jason A. Strain. And I'm on Snapchat at Dirt Driver 10. Just a reminder, if I get 350 subscribers on my YouTube channel here, and if you also, once you subscribe to the YouTube channel, go over to my Facebook page and like that, once I get 350 subscribers, I will have a giveaway of some sort on my Facebook page. So remember to hit that subscribe button, like the JDR Diecast Reviews on Facebook. Be sure to tune in next week for an all new Diecast Review new videos every Wednesday and sometimes Saturday. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. Goodbye.